Oh. Mr Speaker, thank you for the opportunity to speak tonight. In reply, I call the honourable member Sue Moroni. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Mr Speaker, um, and as I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted by the bell before. Um, during my maiden speech in Parliament, I said that I wanted to improve work-life balance for New Zealand families. This bill will do that. It will do it in a way that helps New Zealand children get the best start possible. It will do it in a way that supports working families at that critically important time in their lives. And it will do it in a way that truly does value parenting. I want to thank uh, those parties who have expressed their support for this bill in the House tonight. I think there has been some uh, very rational and well-researched uh, uh, debate coming through from the parties supporting the bill. I was, though, alarmed and I will say actually surprised at the sheer venom coming from the, from the benches opposite. Um, uh, as, as this side of the House, as this side of the House strives to do something, something positive to support working families and the sheer anger, led by Dr Nick Smith, I'd have to say, but challenged very, very quickly by Maggie Barry, the sheer anger coming from that side of the House is something I wasn't quite prepared for. And I've got to say, Mr Speaker, that to me it demonstrated an anger and a resentment towards working families that I thought was quite ugly. I thought it was quite ugly because that, that government was on the wrong side when it came to the class sizes issues. They didn't understand families' needs then, and they do not understand families' needs now with paid parental leave. There's a bit of a theme coming through. But look, um, I think there was actually a lawyer in Kaitaia who said it best. A Kaitaia lawyer by the name of Bryce Quarry, who was quoted in his local newspaper, saying that he would not have been entirely surprised by Finance Minister Bill English's threat to use his power of veto over this bill. He said, in quote, when you're a farmer in Dipton, you probably think women should be at home making tomato sandwiches for the sharing gang anyway. And I think he's hit the nail on the head. Because as much as they might try to say that they support paid parental leave, the truth is, and the facts are, Mr Speaker, that the National Party has always voted against paid parental leave. Even when Labor, when in government, was running such strong surpluses, when we were in government, the National Party voted against it on every single occasion. This is not to do with affordability. This is to do with ideology. It's to do with the tomato sandwiches and the sharing gang, and that's where the National Party still sits on this issue. And yet they say that they want to provide, in fact, they promised the voters at the last election a brighter future. Well, I put that party on notice. Selling out state assets is not a brighter future. Increasing class sizes is not a brighter future. Investing in children in those early years by extending paid parental leave to six months is a brighter future. And that is what New Zealanders are going to start to see through very, very soon. In fact, I think they've started seeing through it already. I think on the odd occasion, the National Party did let their mask slip. Maybe Barry called this a ridiculous policy. At the same time as I'm sure her speaking notes, her research unit notes were telling her, please don't say you don't like paid parental leave, just pretend you do and say it's all about the cost. Well, we've already exploded that myth because, as I said at the very outset, that government spends money on people earning over 150000 Well, I'm telling you now, Mr Smith, I'm telling you exactly Order. how. Order. The tax cuts for those people earning over $150,000 that they did not need, that is money that should be spent on supporting working families. That's exactly the money. You, Mr Smith has challenged me to say where the money would come from, and I've said where the money would come from, but here's an even better idea. The, the paid parental leave allowance is $475 gross a week. We pay in childcare subsidies up to $588 a week for those same babies to be looked after by strangers. I say let's put that money into having their parents being able to choose to stay at home with them and let them have a choice. Mr Speaker, this debate is about families 
And I want to take the opportunity to now, now to thank my family for being here. Three generations of my family actually here today to support me in this bill. And my parents, um, Mary and Denny Moroni here, um, who uh, brought me up and I think did a pretty damn good job. Thank you very much for being here. Um, I've got uh, my, my husband, Shane, has come to support me for the first reading of this bill. And I guess um, well, who you might call my personal... Um, uh, I guess um, the people who gave me the personal initiative for this bill, uh, my sons, our, our boys, Quinn and Logan. It's great to have you here. You, you're all my pride and joy. And um, that's what it's all about, Mr Speaker. It's about a mother's love for their children. And I, I, I recommend this bill to the House. Thank you. The, the question is that the motion be agreed to. Those of that opinion will say aye. aye. To the contrary, no. Aye. The ayes have it. A party vote is called for. The clerk will please conduct the party vote. Thank you. Quiet, members, we're having a party vote now. Silence. New Zealand National. 59 votes opposed. New Zealand Labour. 34 votes in favour. Green Party. 14 votes in favour. New Zealand First. Eight votes in favour. Māori Party. Three votes in favour. Mana. One vote in favour. Act New Zealand. One vote opposed. United Future. One vote in favour. Order. Honourable Members, the ayes are 61, the noes are 60, the motion is agreed to. Paid parental leave and employment protection, six months paid leave, amendment bill, first reading. Honourable Members, the question is that the parental leave and employment protection, six months paid leave, amendment bill, be considered by the Government Administration Committee. Those of that opinion will please say aye. aye. To the contrary, no. The ayes have it. Honourable Members, let us turn ourselves now to Members Order of the Day number five.